van weight the surface integral of dot product of f vector with n vector ds where f vector is given to you and s is the surface of the plane 2x plus y plus 2z equal to 6 in the first octant so the surface integral is equal to the double integral and the integrand is f vector dot product with n vector and instead of ds i'm writing dx dy divided by mod of n vector dot product with k vector where n vector is your unit vector normal to the surface s that is this given surface as your plane is x y plane that is in the first octant we need to evaluate so this double integral is over the projection r where r is the projection of the surface s on x y plane right and what is n vector this is a unit vector normal to the surface s okay what is the vector normal to the surface s the vector normal to the surface s not unit vector the vector normal to the surface s is given by grad of the left hand side of the surface this function that is the left hand side of this given surface 2x plus y plus 2z right and secondly n vector so the n therefore the unit vector normal to the surface s is given by n vector is equal to yes grad of this 2x plus y plus 2z divided by mod of grad of 2x plus y plus 2z right now how to calculate the grad of this function let me name this function as phi so grad of phi is equal to curly phi over curly s because phi is a function of x y z so curly phi over curly x i vector plus curly phi over curly y j vector plus curly phi over curly z k vector right so this is equal to yes 2i cap 2i vector plus j vector plus 2k vector so let put this value of grad phi over here so this is equal to 2i vector plus j vector plus 2k vector divided by mod of this that is 4 plus 1 plus 4 under the root so 4 plus 4 is 8 8 plus 1 9 so square root of 9 is 3 so writing this as 2 divided by 3 i vector 1 over 3 j vector and 2 divided by 3 k vector so this is the value for the unit vector normal to the surface s so now putting this value of n vector over here so we are getting the double integral f vector what is f vector given to us it is x plus y square i vector minus 2x j vector plus 2yz k vector. And what is n vector? It is 2 divided by 3i vector plus j vector by 3 plus 2 divided by 3 k vector. And then dx dy divided by mod of n vector with k vector. n vector with k vector. What I get? The dot product of k and k is 1, otherwise it is 0. So, I get 2 divided by 3 only. So, writing here 2 divided by 3. Right? Okay. Over the projection r. So, this is equal to double integral over the projection r. I'm writing this as 3 by 2 outside of this double integral. Okay. Let's calculate the dot product of this and this. This is 2 divided by 3 x plus y square minus 2 divided by 3 x plus 4 y z divided by 3. That's it. And dx dy. 
So let's take 2 by 3 common. So we are getting x plus y square minus x plus 2yz dx dy. And these will go. Also this x will go by this minus x. So we are getting double integral over r y square plus 2yz into dx dy. Now the given surface is 2x plus y plus 2z equal to 6. So let me get the value of z in terms of x and y from here. So z is equal to 6 minus 2x minus y divided by 2. So let's put this value of z over here now. So this is double integral over r and this is y square plus 2y into z. That is 6 minus 2x minus y divided by 2. 6 minus 2x minus y divided by 2. dx dy. So this 2 will go. Now we are having everything in x and y in the integrand. So this is y square plus 6y minus 2xy minus y square dx dy. So this y square also go. So the remaining integrand is let's take y common and also 2 common. So this is 3 minus x dx dy. Taking this 2 outside. Now for the given surface s that is 2x plus y plus 2z equal to 6. In the first octant. z is equal to 0. So what we are getting? 2x plus y equal to 6. Right? So let's get the limit for x and y from here. Now it is easier to integrate this integrand with respect to y first. So let me put the limits of y here in terms of x. And then I put the limit of x. Right? So taking the limits of y from 0 to the point which is touching the surface s that is this 6 minus 2x right and the limits for x from the origin to okay when this plane touches x axis so for this y is 0 what is the limit for x then 2x plus 0 equal to 6 we get x to be equal to 3 so this is equal to twice from 0 to 3. Integrating this integrand with respect to y first, we are getting 3 minus x into y square divided by 2. Limits from 0 to 6 minus 2x dx. We have kept x fixed first. Okay, so putting the upper limit here, we get 3 minus x into 6 minus 2x whole square minus the lower limit that is 0 dx. So this is twice of this integral 3 minus x into just taking two common from this bracket. We get 4 into 3 minus x whole square divided by 2 dx. So this is twice of 3 minus x whole square. So this is 4 times 0 to 3 3 minus x whole cube dx. So this is equal to 4 into the integration of this. That is 3 minus x to the power 4 divided by 4 into negative 1. And the limits are from 0 to 3. This 4 will go and we get negative of. Okay, putting the upper limit we are getting 0. And then putting the lower limit we are getting 3 to the power 4. So that is equal to negative of negative 81. That is equal to 81 as a required answer to this exercise. Thank you.